Hey y'all, it's me, Sarah and the Dragon. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. So, I had a dream, or more like a vision. I ain't gonna say it was a dream, it was a vision, right? And so, um, in this vision, it was like, let's see, I was, <laughs> I was like, I was in this space, I was working though, and it was like a night shift, it was nighttime, um, and I was getting ready to leave, I was cleaning up after my shift, and so there was this person, there was a guy who I ended up like making out with, right, and he was uh, kissing all on my neck and stuff, and like, the guy who I really wanted, I came downstairs and like walked into the kitchen, and like, the other guy, I like kind of pushed the other guy off of me, it was like, I, you know, like, see you later, and the guy who I really wanted, he was about to walk out the door and leave. And I was like, wait, hey, can I get a ride? And he was like, sure. So I went and I got in the car with him. And um, and in like in the dream, these two people were very similar. They were like kind of built the same. They were tall. Um, they were just, they were built the same, but one was, one was, uh, like, it's almost like they, they looked exactly the same, but they were different. Like one was, one didn't have, have it together as much as the other. The one who was uh, about to give me a ride, the one who was about to give me a ride was very like sophisticated, very, uh, well put together, very, you know, like structured and you know like like they just they just had more discipline or like I don't I don't know how to describe it they, but he, he it was a better option you know out of the two even though they looked exactly alike um but so then I left with the person and you know I, I started to say I was trying I was I was trying to figure out the words to say sorry and I was just contemplating in my head because I knew that the guy liked me too. And I didn't want him to see me kissing on the other guy. So, or see the other guy kissing on me. Because that's what he walked in on him. The other guy kissing on me. But, um, yeah, he, and like, you know, instead of, like, I couldn't say sorry. I couldn't figure out the right words. And so he just gave me a cigarette. He just gave me a cigarette. He's like, you want a cigarette? <laughs> Or I know, I think I asked for a cigarette. He just gave me a cigarette. But we gonna figure out what that means. What was the dream about? What was the dream about spirits? What is the dream about? Um, we got King of Wands here. Okay, so it's the King of Wands. Queen of Wands, okay. <laughs> So we got the king and the queen of wands. So honestly, I feel like with that, that there, and then we got the page of wands on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like the man who was in the dream, or the man who was in the car, that could have been the king of wands. Um, or maybe okay. Then we have the the seven of wands coming out here. So let me see, king of wands, queen of wands, and then like. I don't know, something backfired. Okay, so with this king and queen of wands, this is like a situation I was built on lust, right? So that was the guy who I was kissing on in I was kissing on the side. Okay. That's what I feel like that will represent. That represent nothing but lust. Okay. And so that was that was I saw the eight of swords on the bottom of the deck. Um and then you got the king of king of pentacles. Okay, so somebody here was like in a dream, what I feel like that represents is somebody who's stuck in a lustful situation with the seven of wands. It's like backfiring on somebody, right? It's backfiring because whoever this king of pentacles is, the king of pentacles was the, the more sophisticated one who was walking out the door, right? This person, this person is more grounded. Remember, he's more grounded. Um, but I feel like this is he was. He was some type of ending is happening with that king of that king of pentacles who was going out, who was who ended up giving me a ride on the way out the door. 
Um, Cause I caught him as like the door was closing. Like the door was almost closed. <laughs> Before I was like, hey, wait, I need a ride. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So somebody here being caught in lust has backfired on them. Um, but this King of Pentacles is getting ready to move forward. You know, the chariot that also represents a car, you know, getting ready to move on. Okay. Um, but then we have, look, then you have the three of cups, three of wands. So maybe this is here talking about, you know, reconciliation, play, looking out towards the future, turning your back on whatever this lover situation is. So somebody could be getting ready, you know, to move on from this lustful instant, this lustful space into a more grounded space. Um, <clears throat> yeah, pulling back. Somebody is pulling back. Pulling back or holding them. And there also could be someone who has, like, remember I said I was trying to apologize, but I couldn't. There was somebody's holding back a message or some type of news or something that needs to be said, you know. Yeah, and this is what's creating conflict. This is what's creating tension. Okay, this is creating some type of tension here. Because somebody quickly was doing something. But either way, they're about to get what they put out. Somebody about to get what they put out, right? With the, with the six of six of pentacles. Okay, so let, what else? Then we got the... um. We got the... um. Hangman and then the two of wands. So with that, I feel like someone was staying stuck. Someone got stuck in this choice and this decision to be in lust. But again, that's closing out. This cycle is closing out here. This could be uh, involving the Empress. The Empress is, uh, she she closing out a cycle. She's moving forward. Look, and then the, we had the Wheel of Fortune right behind that. So yeah, she closing out the cycle, moving forward, ghosting. Look, I'm telling you, look, this empress is moving forward, ghosting the illusions, walking away, unfazed, okay? So in that situation, you know, maybe this is too, well... I'm trying to see because this is a this is a divine feminine energy, which I feel like that divine feminine is that King of Pentacles right now. This 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 is somebody who's very grounded, very grounded. But I feel like with this strength card, this could have been, um, yeah, this strength card is representing um, control. Somebody was somebody regrets trying to control someone. And keep them in a lustful space. Maybe there was two lustful energies. Somebody could have been trying to control the situation using lust in some type of way. Someone could have chose to remain in a relationship or remain in a connection that was based around lust. But it backfired. Because it was ultimately like someone trying to just have control. This is all about control. Okay. But somebody's about to be in regret here. Being regret. Regret with this, uh, with because this this could be a, a emperor here. An emperor could have been. I don't, I, don't I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, if somebody's regretting this, trying to control the situation, it's backfiring. This could have been um that first individual who was trying to control the situation with lust. Yeah, they were trying to close the, control the situation with lust. Somebody chose lust. Somebody stayed stuck in lust, and someone chose lust. So the King of Wands stayed stuck in a lustful mindset, and the Queen of Wands chose to indulge, overindulge in lust and, and try to make something happen, trying to control something. So somebody's over, somebody overdoing their control. Is backfiring on someone because the King of Pentacles is closing out a cycle. This King of Pentacles is moving forward. This would definitely be dealing with somebody unique, somebody twin or something like that. But I feel like this is justice. Justice is somebody receiving whatever they put out. Whatever they put out is what they about to get back. And it's the ending. It's over. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, message here. Somebody's getting a message that 
things are moving. Somebody's moving on. Okay, this this King of Pentacles is moving on. This King of Pentacles, like I said, the King of Pentacles in this situation is the Empress. This Empress is closing out this cycle. Okay, somebody could have been trying to. Um, somebody, this Empress is pulling back her energy. She's holding on to her energy here, and closing out this cycle with whoever this is. This King of Wands who is stuck in lust. Yeah, Tower moment. Somebody don't. Somebody has no desire for that. But the Tower moment, and then we got the King Queen of Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So that's another match here. So maybe this is somebody here who's receiving another um another interest. Another interest, another another love interest. Let's see what else. Yeah, this uh this Queen of Wands though, whoever this was that was in this lustful energy, the the which I feel like in a dream represent the first person. This first person was the Queen of Wands. But either way, this person is over. Things are ending out for this person. Things are closing out for this person because um, where where whoever this story is, whoever story this is, where you're trying to go, you can't do nothing with just sex. And, 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 and yeah, you can't do that with just sex. Like, it's like, okay, what else are we doing? <laughs> what else is there to do? Is there anything else? Huh? Anything else? <laughs> yeah. Anything else you got to offer? Yeah. yeah, this would be sex and magic. Besides sex and magic, what else? You know what I'm saying? But I feel like somebody here. Mm -hmm. Somebody about to be heartbroken. With that Ace of Wands and the Three of Swords, somebody about to be heartbroken. There's something coming up with sex. There's something coming up with sex. This is like, this is a backfire energy of... of uh, too much sex, doing too much sexually. I've been picking up on that a lot lately. Like someone is doing, overdoing it with sex and something is about to, something about to not be working right. Okay. So with the temperance here, we got temperance with, okay, so temperance. So the backfire, okay, so it, it's like angels stepped in. I feel like angels had to step in here to balance out a situation because of this control somebody was overdoing their control over abusing their power you know just doing too damn much working um whatever they was choosing to work on they was it was they was doing too much okay so i see you i see like moving forward there's a forward mo a forward motion okay what else tower tower another tower this king of pentacles is closing out this cycle here again this is causing a major shift because um oh shit the tower is this is this this person's manhood this person's about to experience this person about to receive some type of documentation that's about to, that's about because somebody's somebody's wand is up under judgment right now for the things that they chose to do so somebody about to receive some type of documentation. Somebody need to go to the doctor and get that shit checked. Put somebody up, up under judgment, okay? <clears throat> Ooh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, some type of... Um, I feel like there's a message coming from a wish fulfillment here. This is it. This is a ten of cups abundant energy. This is somebody who, who has a lot to offer here. This to me represents in that vision that represents the man who was walking out the door, the man who was more sophisticated, who had his stuff together, who was going. You know, like, you know, he he didn't know what I needed. He didn't know, no, he knew that I had something to say, but he knew what I needed at the same time, which was just a cigarette, you know. You know, I needed just to smoke a cigarette and calm down and just, you know, he had what I needed ready. You know, he was available for me. But the truth is here, okay? But either way, I see a message. There's a message coming in with this Ten of Cups. This also represents family, a message coming in from family as well, okay? 
So let's see what else. What's this ten of cups? She don't want to know. Ten of cups weighed down. Somebody weighed down though. Somebody is weighed down. Ten. Oh shit! I'm talking about major endings. So we got the tower, the ten of cups, ten of wands, ten of swords. I'm talking about major endings. Endings are happening in three different places because of somebody's choice and decision to remain in lust. Somebody rem chose to remain in lust. I think even if this was like somebody here was like, oh, I'm going to stay here for a second and do this right quick, real quick. While, you know, nobody's looking, you know, because in the dream, I didn't want the other person to see what I was doing. And but the most high God seen it. You see what I'm saying? God seen it. And so, um, though the person was walking out the door and I had like just an inch, just an inch of, you know, leeway to come and get, grab the door to run after him. Um, it's still, I feel like there's still some type of consequences that is being, that is happening. I'm still, I still had to face some type of consequence. Okay. And in this situation, whoever this is, is facing some type of consequence. Okay? Somebody's stability could be... Somebody's stability could be um at jeopardy or something like that. Somebody's stability could be at jeopardy. I do see like there's gonna be a karmic energy that gets exposed. This is gonna leave someone in, in regret. This could be family members as well. But the truth is coming out. So this king of song, this king of wands is now turning into a king of swords here with the five of pentacles. This is somebody who could be feeling left out in the cold, or maybe they could have left out in the cold whoever it was that was the match to them or something like that. Yeah, they could have left out that match with the queen because this person came out as a king of. There's a king of. I don't know. There's a king of. Yeah, yeah. Somebody here, king of wands. It was some type of uh, king of swords. There's a king. Oh shit! It's a. <laughs> y'all, it's so much going. Oh. <laughs> it's a lot going on, y'all. Yeah, no. So we got. The Ace of Swords, you got the Ace of Swords with the with the Seven of Cups and this and this the Sun. So something is definitely being illuminated. Some type of illusion is definitely being illuminated and 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 cleared up, and the light is shining through. And it's like, hey, 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 wait a minute now, somebody doing something they ain't had no business doing. And it's like now the truth is is being spoken on with the king with the king of swords here. This truth is being spoken on, and this is something that's happening publicly. Okay, somebody here could be getting denounced publicly as well. Like somebody could be getting terminated publicly here. But see, we got cloaking because they was cloaking themselves. I don't know, this cloaking energy, this cloak energy of trying to cloak yourself to control the energy. Somebody was cloaking themselves as an angel. Somebody was, yeah, somebody was cloaking themselves as an angel to try to control the situation, but it's backfiring, okay? Somebody was doing all this shit for attention, but it's backfiring. I'm talking about major backfire, right? Yeah, five of pentacles. Five of pentacles. Yeah, this person is stressed out. This is the person who be worried about money all the time. This is the person who be doing it for money. This Queen of Pentacles here. This Queen of Pentacles, she 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 out in the cold. Listen, so she's stressed out. Somebody out in the cold here. This Queen of Pentacles could, could really be somebody here who was in some type of commitment with someone. Um, but they're stressed out right now. Um because they're they're experiencing a lot of conflict because they rushed to they rushed to overindulge and do a bunch of stuff. You know what I'm saying? They rushed and did a bunch of shit. They did a bunch of stuff. You know, these wands also represent spiritual, spiritual actions here. But I do feel like someone here is um, you know, them trying to control the situation and trying to overdo, overplay their part is like them cloaking themselves and doing all this extra stuff. Honestly, I feel like this is how it's backfiring. The angel of death could very well be visiting somebody. 
okay? Because this we got the temperance falling up on top of the hermit. The angel of death is definitely visiting someone for overindulging in this extra, this extra controlling energy. For because it, it, it's I'm talking about it. It's backfiring in a nasty way. We got the ten of ten of cups, ten of wands, ten of swords. Then you have the world cycle and the goddamn uh, wheel of fortune. I'm talking about it's backfiring so bad. I'm like, it's backfiring in a way. It's backfiring in a way that it's somebody's worst worst nightmare right now, or it's about to be. With the death, death, the angel of death is on somebody's head. Um, <clears throat> because even in a dream, I, it wasn't necessarily that I wanted to be over there with that person, kissing that person. It was just, it was just there. I was just there happening. I'm sorry, not the dream, the vision, because I wasn't asleep. It was a vision, but um. It was just happening that way. Um, but yeah, with the Six of Cups, this would also be an ending with people from the past. This would be an ending with past energies. They could be, because these, these are people who are, or this was somebody, this lustful energy that someone was in or that they were uh, parlaying with. This is somebody who was in competition with um, this person's destiny. Okay, so this could be if this is your so they, they was in competition with your destiny. You know what I'm saying? So they was keeping you in another ten. Look at here, another ten. This is this is a, this is a group, a family, or a community, or something like that. Somebody was in competition of your with your destiny. So with the Ace of Swords, this this that's the truth. Shit, the truth is coming out. The truth is here. The truth, 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 the truth, 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 Somebody got to follow their intuition here, okay? Because they was, somebody was, uh, somebody was staying stuck in some bullshit. That's the easiest way I can say it. Stuck in some bullshit. Somebody was, uh, around, around people who was lying. Somebody here was around people who was, uh, blocking them on purpose, keeping them confused on purpose, swapping out stuff on purpose, secretly rearranging things on purpose you see what i'm saying so they were trying to block they was blocking uh, this nine of pentacles energy this could have been the empress here they could have blocked the empress here kept this person blinded and confused and, and started telling all these lies sneaking around like i said rearranging stuff somebody was rearranging stuff behind the scenes here and then we had the emperor here somebody was overdoing their control but i see that once this person decides you know, hey, I'm about to turn my back and end out this illusion here with these partnerships. Because it was a partnership. This is like a relationship partnership or something here. Somebody was partnered up with their with their enemies. Partnered up with people who was uh, keeping them in, in lust. Get, keeping them getting paid to have sex or, or some, some shit like that. Somebody was somebody was just doing a bunch of shit to keep somebody to keep somebody in a in a five of swords mind games playing 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 with their mental you know keeping somebody on a on a on a loop keeping them on the loop i've been picking up on this for a minute lord that means somebody is missing the mark anything else y'all gonna get it though whoever this is gonna get it Anything else? Jumping to conclusions. So somebody was jumping to conclusions here. There's some type of conclusion jumping. And this is the, this is also what's uh, creating this backfire energy, though. Yep, jumping to conclusions, and, and it got somebody sitting there looking confused, feeling confused, confused as hell. Now I was like, like I said, yo, I said y'all gonna get it. Whoever this is going through this, y'all gonna get it because you got new view on the bottom of the day. Y'all gonna see the truth. It's undeniable because it's like one of them things where it's like when you see the truth, you can't unsee the truth childish confusion somebody here was uh stuck around people had them jump into conclusion or stuck with someone whether it's an individual or more more than one person you, you know y'all take whatever side of this is that you're on but this person we yeah, a copycat look somebody was like i said in the vision the man who i was kissing up with was like a dull down off brand version of the man who was walking away out the door who was real sophisticated real well put together you know i'm sorry that man was clean and crispy it smelled good he looked good he was like he was good you know 
And he was almost out that door. And I was stuck with somebody who looked like him kissing on this person. But it wasn't nothing but that. That's all he had to offer me. Okay. So this other man, you know, I caught him before he got out the door. And we got in the car and we started moving. The symbolism there, y'all. We, we started moving. Okay. And then, um, I'm not too sure what the cigarette meant. But either way, somebody could have been stuck with a childish individual who was mimicking someone else and, you know, trying to manifest some type of money. This is all for money here. I don't know, child. This could have been uh, money, sex, sex from, uh, sex. like somebody was could have been having sex for money or something like that. You know, but whatever it was, it, this whoever this was that was create that was copying another individual is experiencing blockages now. They having their own blockages here, but the phase is gonna end out soon. Um, because this person, this this person, this lustful energy was somebody from the past here. This is somebody that should have been let let go of, um, a long time ago. And yeah, this person thought it was funny. They became obsessed with whoever the um this performer is. So maybe you know the man in a dream in a, um in a vision he was walking out the door he could be the performer you know what I'm saying <laughs> he was <laughs> I don't know or I was the performer one or two one or two somebody was a performer okay and so um they became obsessed with make with this person here somebody who this person from the past that was mimicking another energy. They became obsessed with this performer and they were doing all this stuff out of like because they thought it was funny, you know, using this sexual energy, having this person caught up in sex, you know, having sex with money, doing all types of stuff. Whoever this was that was set stuck in this lustful energy, this person from their past was cloning who they were supposed to be working with to keep them stuck in a inner it's to keep them stuck in a loop, okay. Keep them stuck in a loop to keep them off of their destiny. Okay, somebody got, yeah, blockage, a little access to nine. But like I said, look, catfish, you know what I'm saying? Cat, da, 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 fish. Cat, cat, catfish. Somebody's a catfish, okay? Somebody jumped to conclusions and blocked the wrong person or something like that. <clears throat> yeah, because they was confused. Somebody got confused. Oh, shit. New cycle, new year. So, yeah. So, somebody started a new cycle with somebody based upon lust, based upon past energy. They could have hid the way that they felt here um, and just went off on a new cycle on some, on some other shit. New, new view. Now, I feel like people are going to see, you're going to be able to see or someone's seeing things from a new view now. Okay? Somebody, whoever this was that was being childish, this person, yeah, this person is being seen as obsessive, childish, um, just not good. Not good at all. Money flow. We got missing piece and money flow. So somebody here could be, you know, experiencing some type of something going on with their money. Whatever they expected for somebody to be going for something to happen with their money. It's like, that's, a, that's whatever spell where they was doing with this money here to try to take someone's money. Or to, or to put block someone's money, it's like that's the energy that they're sitting in. You know what I'm saying? So it's spell work, copycat. Yeah, this cop. So they was doing a, they was doing energy ciphering spells where they like to cipher the energy. They like to shoot, you know, you like, they like to switch out the energy to make it seem like they somebody that they not. You know, stuff like that. Just to create problems. Just to create altercations here. Okay? But we had apology coming in. Somebody here could have been blocked. Had could have had some type of blockages. Maybe they want to apologize for doing these blockages or for creating blockages. I don't know, y'all. Y'all, y'all, I don't. Know. Blackmail. Yeah, they was doing. They was blackmailing you. Could have been blackmailing you with your past. Could have been. But it was all fake. Whatever, whatever they were trying to use to blackmail you to say that you was this or say that you was that. It's like, it was fake. It was not real. It wasn't what it wasn't. It was a <laughs> what a word. <laughs> it wasn't genuine. It wasn't. It was a false narrative. Somebody created and conjured up a false narrative in order to confuse someone. 
for money. Like this is all for money. Kept whoever this was that was um, confused in a in a lustful mindset in a lustful headspace so that they couldn't think beyond their beyond sex. And then look, they gave an upgrade to somebody who was fake. Okay. <clears throat> what else? And then we got the gift here. So there's a gift here that's coming in. Maybe there's a gift. Transformation. I don't know, but I feel like maybe this part, maybe whoever you, the, the empress in this situation, I feel like somebody had a gift, right? And their gifts created some type, it's like they under they underwent some type of transformation within their gifting, their, their spiritual gifting, okay? Maybe they were blocked at some point because of all the spell work that was being put on somebody, okay? But now I feel like there's, there's somebody's gifts are going through a transformation. Again, yeah, dead. So there could be an ending to some type of uh, relationship that was going towards the wrong way. Somebody was going the wrong way. Somebody built a relationship based off of sex and magic and uh, energy ciphering. So pretty much stealing the energy of the empress in order to portray themselves as the empress. Somebody was celebrating with a, with, with a catfish. Somebody was celebrating with a catfish. Somebody made their whole, look, humor. And the catfish thought it was funny. They thought it was funny to steal the empress energy, pretend to be the empress. Yo, this is sad. Like, I'm talking about sad. Like, I'm not even, I, I can't even bring myself to say nothing rude or nasty about whoever this individual is because this is sad. At this point, it's like, yo, this is sad. Like, you don't want to be you, baby. You don't love you. What You, though. What about your own essence? This is sad. Kicked out, yeah. So somebody here definitely behind the scenes, kicked out. Somebody, I don't know. But yeah, y'all, that's what I got. Y'all go ahead, like, share, comment, and subscribe. They kicked out they meant to be person. Okay? They kicked out they meant to be person to celebrate with uh to celebrate with a, with somebody who was fake. Alright, y'all. That's what I got. Y'all go ahead, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I hope it works out for you. Later.